Get excited because we are about to travel to one of the best foodie destinations in the United States of America, New Orleans, Louisiana, and we are gonna be making jambalaya in our Instant Pot or pressure cooker in our kitchen right now. Hey everyone, my name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world and today we are exploring Bourbon Street, the French Quarter and some of the most delicious food in America. We are making jambalaya from New Orleans, Louisiana in our pressure cooker. So the first thing that we're gonna need to get started is to turn our Instant Pot or pressure cooker to the saute function and then add one tablespoon of olive oil into the pot. And to the pot we're also gonna add one pound of shrimp with no tails, de-veined, no shells on it, just some raw shrimp. We're gonna saute the shrimp in the pressure cooker until they fully cook. Once the shrimp are fully cooked, you can just remove them to a bowl and set them aside. We're not gonna need them again for a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil to the pot, and then we're gonna add 13 ounces of andouille sausage, which I have cut into rounds. In the recipe, it says that you can do this either way. So you can saute the sausage beforehand, get a little crisp on them if you want. You can also just put them right in the pot with the rice when we pressure cook the rest of it. Either way, it's totally up to you with just whatever texture you prefer. So you can see this one's looking a little crispy around the edges and that's exactly how we want the sausage to look. The two types of meat that we're adding into the jambalaya are shrimp and sausage. If you want, you can also add chicken pieces. So you can use a chicken breast, cut it into bite-sized pieces, and you don't have to pre-cook it on saute or anything like we did with the sausage and the shrimp. You can just put it in the pot along with the rice and cook that too if you wanna add some chicken into the jambalaya. So last thing that we're gonna put into this pot to saute is one onion that we've chopped and one green onion that we've chopped. Now also standard in Cajun and Creole cooking is to also add celery. That's the holy trinity of Cajun and Creole cooking. I myself am not a fan of celery, so just make sure that if you want the true, true Cajun Creole experience, add some celery into the Trinity too, and you can cook that along with the rest of the jambalaya. We're gonna saute the onions until they start to turn a little bit translucent, the green peppers cook through, and then we're also gonna add one teaspoon of chopped garlic in here as well. When you're sauteing onions and garlic together, I always cook the onions for a little bit first before I add the garlic. If you add them both at the same time, the garlic cooks a lot faster and sometimes it'll burn before the onion's done. So cook the onion a little bit first and then add the garlic in when it's almost done. Once your onions and your peppers are cooked through, we're gonna turn off the saute function, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients into the pot. I have two and a quarter cups of chicken broth and one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. If you've watched any of my Instant Pot or Pressure Cooker recipes before, you know that once we add the liquid into the pot after sauteing, we do a little scrape with the spoon just to make sure that we get any burnt bits off the bottom. You wanna make sure that you do that so that you don't get the burn notice. Once the bottom of the pot is clean, you can also add your andouille sausage back in. We're also gonna add one and a half cups of long green white rice, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one half teaspoon of ground thyme, and two bay leaves. The reason that we do it in this order, we put the liquid, then the meat, then the rice on top is because if you put the rice on the bottom, sometimes it'll stick to the bottom and you'll get a burnt notice. If you put the andouille sausage on the bottom, the andouille sausage isn't gonna burn, so the rice won't stick to the bottom of the pot. Instead, it'll just sit on top of the andouille sausage and it creates kind of a protective barrier there. I mixed my rice in a little bit, but I didn't, I just kind of pushed my rice into the liquid. I didn't stir it. I don't want the rice to go down again to the bottom of the pot, so instead I just made sure to kind of push it into the liquid, make sure it's all soaked up. The only thing I didn't put into this pot is the shrimp. That's because for the amount of time that we're cooking, the rice. If we put the shrimp in there, it would be way overcooked by the time the rice is done cooking. So we're gonna leave that off to the side. We pre-cooked it, we'll put it in at the end. For now, we're gonna put the lid on the pot, seal the pressure valve, and then we're gonna cook this on high for six minutes and then allow for a six minute natural release. Once the six minutes of natural releasing the pressure is up, then we'll instant release the rest of the pressure. And now we have our jambalaya all cooked and almost ready to eat, but we have one more thing we need to add. I have our one pound of shrimp that we cooked earlier. We set that aside in a bowl. Now it's time to add it back into the jambalaya. And now your jambalaya is done. New Orleans has and will forever be one of my very favorite foodie destinations in the whole United States of America. And now you can bring it to your own kitchen with this recipe. It's so easy to make and if you need written instructions, you can find them at the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to check out the other videos that we have on my YouTube channel. We have delicious recipes from all around the world. Don't forget to bring some culture to your kitchen this week and I will see you next week.